today's video is going to be on this look. This is just a really pretty hot pink subtle look. I decided to do it because, you know, I haven't seen anybody wear pink eyeshadow. And so I wanted to show you guys how to do it. And today is going to be my very first talk through video. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And let me comment down below if I should be doing more of these or if you guys prefer voiceovers. Let me know. Okay, get on to the video. I'm going to be priming my lids with some Mika eye primer. I really like to prime underneath my eyes because if you put eyeshadow or eyeliner, it'll prevent it from smudging. Sorry. So now I'm just going to be taking this precise brush, eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to be taking some a taupe colored eyeshadow and I'm going to be defining the crease of my eye. And for this, you want to just take it a little bit, of, you just want to take it really close to your brow bone, and that's just because it's going to create the illusion of a bigger eye. I'm going to be taking this pink color right here, and I'm going to be packing that onto my lid. taking the two pinks right here and I'm going to be mixing those two together and then I'm going to be fluffing that out onto my eye and for this you want to build up the color very very slowly you don't want it to just smack it on there you have to do it very very slowly and make sure that the first layer you put on is very very sheer Mascara. 
as I said with the eyeliner, you don't want to overpower your eyes because you really have a very like you have a very vibrant eyeshadow color, so you don't want to take away attention from that. So just put on a very little bit. So just put on a very little bit of mascara. You don't have to do anything crazy because you want the attention to go to the eyeshadow color. moisturizing primer and it makes your pores disappear and I really like it because my skin has really been acting up it's been like flaky and patchy and it's just been not cooperating with me so yeah I'm just going to be using this Today I'm going to be using my True Match Lumi Foundation. I usually use my L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation, but my skin, like I said, has been acting up, so I'm going to be using this because it's a little bit more moisturizing than the other one. And the Pro Matte does cling on to dry patches, so if you do want to use that foundation, make sure that you exfoliate and you use a primer. It's eliminizing. I don't know if I'm the only one, but when I'm doing my foundation, I get really, really bored. Like it's the most boring thing in the world, just blending out your foundation. And it takes me years! I'm just kidding. Guys, with my e.l.f. under eye concealer and highlighter. Yeah, that's all it is. Not that my face doesn't need any more help. Get my skin with my little torch bronzer by Enterprise. Isn't that like, isn't that like an insurance company? Enterprise? Or like a car company? I don't know. Uh, I don't even think this says Enterprise. Enter I can't, I can't read it. So. We're just going to go with Enterprise. I'm going to be taking my blush 
palette from Costco Spence and I'm going to be using this brightest hot pink because that's the color we're working with. But with these blushes you really have to be really careful because they're super pigmented. taking a different brush and blending all this out. Moving on to eyebrows, I'm going to be using my Body Graffiti brow palette and I'm going to be mixing in the light one and the dark one. And that's just because I don't want a dramatic brow today because we do have that with bright pink eye. So yeah. Now for the lips, I'm going to be taking Bear It All by Wet n Wild, and it's just the nude. I'm going to be putting that onto my lips. My nose, no, I'm just kidding. Then I'm going to be putting on my favorite lip lipstick, lip gloss, by Model Co, Model Co in the name Rosie and I love this because it has a mirror and it smells really good it smells like strawberries that is it okay I forgot one last step take the Pink and the other pink and drag it very slowly build it up just now that is it <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video because I had a lot of fun doing it and I had fun talking to the camera and this video is 26 minutes now. Okay, see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!